Chapter twelve of Literary Taste How to Form It by Arnold Bennett. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Timothy Ferguson. Literary Taste How to Form It by Arnold Bennett. Chapter twelve. An English Library, Period 2 After dealing with the formation of a library of authors up to John Dryden, I must logically arrange next a scheme for the period covered roughly by the 18th century. There is, however, no reason why the student in quest of a library should follow the chronological order. Indeed, I should advise him to attack the 19th century before the 18th, for the reason that, unless his taste happens to be peculiarly augustan he will obtain a more immediate satisfaction and profit from his acquisitions in the nineteenth century than in the eighteenth there is in eighteenth-century literature a considerable proportion of what i may term an attractive excellence which one must have for the purposes of completeness but which may await actual perusal until more pressing and more human books have been read I have particularly in mind the philosophical authors of the century. Prose Writers John Locke, Philosophical Works, Bond's Edition, Two Volumes, Seven Shillings Sir Isaac Newton, Principia, Sections 1, 2, and 3, Macmillan's, Twelve Shillings Gilbert Burnett, History of His Own Time, Everyman's Library, One Shilling William Wycherley, Best Plays, Mermaid Series, two shillings and sixpence. William Congreve, Best Plays, Mermaid Series, two shillings and sixpence. Jonathan Swift, Tale of a Tub, Scott Library, one shilling. Jonathan Swift, Gulliver's Travels, Temple Classics, one shilling and sixpence. Daniel Defoe, Journal of the Plague Year, Everyman's Library, one shilling. Joseph Addison, Sir Richard Steele, Essays. Scott Library, one shilling. William Law, Serious Call, Everyman's Library, one shilling. Lady Mary W. Montagu, Letters, Everyman's Library, one shilling. George Berkeley, Principles of Human Knowledge, New Universal Library, one shilling. Samuel Richardson, Clarissa, Abridged, Routledge's Edition, two shillings. John Wesley, Journal, Everyman's Library, four volumes, four shillings. Henry Fielding, Tom Jones, Routledge's Edition, two shillings. Henry Fielding, Amelia, Routledge's Edition, two shillings. Henry Fielding, Joseph Andrews, Routledge's Edition, two shillings. David Hume, Essays, World's Classics, one shilling. Lawrence Stern, Tristram Shandy, World's Classics, one shilling. Lawrence Stern, Sentimental Journey, New Universal Library, one shilling. Horace Walpole, Castle of Otranto, King's Classics, one shilling and sixpence. Tobias Smollett, Humphrey Clinker, Routledge's Edition, two shillings. Thomas Smollett, Travels Through France and Italy, World's Classics, one shilling. Adam Smith, Wealth of Nations, World's Classics, two volumes, two shillings. Samuel Johnson, Lives of the Poets, World's Classics, two volumes, two shillings. Samuel Johnson, Rasselas, New Universal Library, one shilling. James Boswell, Life of Johnson, Everyman's Library, two volumes, two shillings. Oliver Goldsmith, Works, Globe Edition, three shillings and sixpence. Henry Mackenzie, The Man of Feeling, Cassell's National Library, sixpence. Sir Joshua Reynolds, Discourses on Art, Scott Library, one shilling. Edmund Burke, Reflections on the French Revolution, Scott Library, one shilling. Edmund Burke, Thoughts on the Present Discontents, New Universal Library, one shilling. Edward Gibbon, Decline and Fall of the Roman Empire, World's Classics, seven volumes, seven shillings. Thomas Paine, Rights of Man, Watson Co.'s edition, one shilling. Richard Brinsley Sheridan, Plays, World's Classics, one shilling. Fanny Burney, Evelina, 
Everyman's Library, one shilling. Gilbert White, Natural History of Selborne, Everyman's Library, one shilling. Arthur Young, Travels in France, York Library, two shillings. Mungo Park, Travels, Everyman's Library, one shilling. Jeremy Bentham, Introduction to the Principles of Morals, Clarendon Press, six shillings and sixpence. Thomas Robert Malthus, Essay on the Principle of Population, Ward Locks Edition, three shillings. William Godwin, Caleb Williams, Nunes Edition, one shilling. Maria Edgeworth, Helen, Macmillan's Illustrated Edition, two shillings and sixpence. Jane Austen, Novels, Nelson's New Century Library, two volumes, four shillings. James Morrier, Haji Baba, Macmillan's Illustrated Novels, two shillings and sixpence. Total, five pounds, one shilling. The principal omissions here are Jeremy Collier, whose outcry against the immorality of the stage is his slender title to remembrance, Richard Bentley, whose scholarship principally died with him and whose chief works are no longer current, and Junius, who would have been deservedly forgotten long ago had there been a contemporaneous Sherlock Holmes to ferret out his identity. Poets Thomas Otway, Venice Preserved, Temple Dramatists, one shilling. Matthew Pryor, Poems on Several Occasions, Cambridge English Classics, four shillings and sixpence. John Gay, Poems, Muses Library, two volumes, two shillings. Alexander Pope, Works, Globe Edition, three shillings. Isaac Watts, Hymns, any hymn book, one shilling. James Thompson, The Seasons, Muses Library, one shilling. Charles Wesley, Hymns, any hymn book, one shilling. Thomas Gray, Samuel Johnson, William Collins, Poems, Muses Library, one shilling. James McPherson, Ossian, Poems, Cambridge Poets, one shilling. Thomas Chatterton, Poems, Muses Library, two volumes, two shillings. William Cowper, Poems, Canterbury Poets, one shilling. William Cowper, Letters, World's Classics, one shilling. George Crabb, Poems, Methuen's Little Library, one shilling and sixpence. William Blake, Poems, Muses Library, one shilling. William Lies Bowles, Hartley Coleridge, Poems, Canterbury Poets, one shilling. Robert Burns, Works, Globe Edition, three shillings and sixpence. Total, one pound, seven shillings. Summary of the period. Thirty-nine prose writers in sixty volumes costing five pounds, one shilling. Eighteen poets in eighteen volumes costing one pound, seven shillings. Total, fifty-seven writers in seventy-eight volumes costing six pounds, eight shillings. End of chapter twelve. Recording by Timothy Ferguson, Gold Coast, Australia.